Hi everybody and welcome to Biofilm Minutes, a video series by Alvin. In the next minutes we will discuss how biofilm monitoring conveniently applies to food production. And to do so I'll show you a very interesting application case of Alvin technology. Also, I will explain how comes that large fluctuations in bacterial count can be often observed in industrial systems, and how liquid sampling and lab analysis cannot provide a real indication of the microbial risk. So in the scheme, you can see a loop where water was recirculated before use. In this yogurt production plant, water was taken from a well and stored until it was needed to clean production lines between the exchange of flavors, you know, from vanilla to strawberry, for example. Of course, the system could be affected by microbiological growth, and thus water was constantly treated by UV radiation and filtration down to 0.2 microns. The combination of these two physical treatments was expected, let's say, to achieve 99.99% .99 removal of bacteria, and thus both pipe and water were expected to remain clean. For this reason, the full chemical sanitation of the system was applied only every three weeks, on a scheduled basis. This is a very common approach, applied in several industrial sectors. Such treatments are often applied on calendar basis, rather than when strictly needed. Nevertheless, water sampling and analysis were performed on a daily basis, to check the microbiological contamination of the liquid, and quite puzzling results were observed. Indeed, while some days the bacterial count in water was very low, some other days high amount of bacteria were observed instead. The customer thought that the filter was broken and tried to replace it with a new one, but still large fluctuations in bacterial count were observed. Why? Read more about this topic on our white paper, or stay with me, and you'll find out in a minute. At first thought, one could try to explain these results as follows. Some days, there might be few bacteria coming with the feed water, leading to low bacterial counts, highlighted in green. While other days, there might be many bacteria coming with the feed water, leading to high bacterial counts, highlighted in red. But this is highly unlikely. So, in order to check what was really happening in this system, the customer decided to install an Alvin sensor. Thanks to the indication furnished by the Alvin probe, it was possible to observe that, immediately after the chemical sanitation of the system, biofilms start to grow, as indicated by the increase in Alvin signal, highlighted in red. This is not good, because when biofilm is fully eliminated, it takes time to grow again. When biofilm readily regrows instead, it means that the sanitation treatment cannot efficiently eradicate it. So the system was contaminated by biofilm. This fact explains very well the observed fluctuations in bacterial count. Indeed, the presence of biofilm does not necessarily cause an increase of free floating bacteria, so liquid sampling and analysis cannot inform about biofilm presence. But when parts of biofilm detach and float away, these can lead to high results in bacterial count. This exemplifies how liquid sampling and analysis cannot provide a representative indication of the real microbial risk. Coming back to our water loop, clean water was flowing in a dirty pipe, because even the few bacteria surviving the combined physical treatments were enough to settle on surfaces and lead to biofilm growth. To solve the problem, a more frequent sanitation was applied to keep the system clean from biofilm. This was possible thanks to the indication provided by the Alvin sensor. Of course, you can read the full application case at the link indicated at the top right corner of this slide. Also, if you missed the previous episodes of Biofilm Minutes, don't forget that you can always find them on our website at the link indicated here. For any further interest related to Arvin Technologies, please visit our website or feel free to contact us. 
Also, make sure to save some more Bifle Minutes for the next episodes. Have a good rest of the day and stay safe, also from Biofilm. Bye!